Finally, I get to a sneaker that I've just been waiting to review. I bought it a couple weeks ago, but I had to get a few other videos out. And this is the low-cut version of the Trek sneaker I, I talked about. So if you haven't already seen that, go over to that video. It's just a few weeks old. Check that out. That's a nice high cut. It's got nice features in it. But I, I always love low-cut shoes, so this one really had me interested. I couldn't wait to get on feet and see the flexibility, this, that. Anyways, let's jump right into the shoe. So front of the box, here we go. You could say this is, I can't see, it's right there. UA Hover DS Ridge TR. TR stands for Trek, like the previous one. Size 10 and a half. This one doesn't have the little picture like the other one, you know. But the price also was a little cheaper, so maybe that's why I didn't add the picture. Simple up, plain Under Armour paper. And then... This is the shoe itself. I mean, you might not like the colorway, but hey, it's a running shoe. It's going to get dirty and destroyed in just a little amount of time. I, I don't know how I feel. Comment below if you've seen the other video. Do you like the high cuts in this or the low cuts? Have you seen this sneaker before? Maybe you like? I don't know. Leave, leave comments below. First slot of this sneaker. Anyways, let's get into the sneaker. So up close, see it says hover. It's a hover shoe. It's got that responsiveness of the hover at the bottom. Got UA back here, right next to the heel. You got a pull tab right here. So again, um, from the high cut, it feels like almost the exact same material, but because of the way it's constructed, it feels a little softer, if that makes any sense. Not as plasticky as the other ones. Again, with that shaping on the bottom good for grabbing dirt and gravel i assume i can't wait to get these on v broom vibram bottom however you pronounce that really good like i had on the five finger toe shoes i like to see this bottom it's very durable and lasts a long time and another hit of under armor here on the toe guard and then it says trail right here so let's do one more 360 front of the shoe bottom of the shoe and then let's get the shoes side by side here you go oh, the shoes side by side oh. that's enough talking let's go throw these on feet and see how they fit all right and for these low cuts I'm already going to tell you right away I do like the way they feel on my foot a lot more than the previously reviewed high cut version and the high cut version does cost a little more because it has more stitching and everything, right? So, but personally, feeling wise, I really, really like how these feel on feet. Okay, and that was the on foot of these Ridge Trail Track shoes, whatever you want to call them. I really like the low. I mean, I really like the highs I reviewed before, but the lows, I just always like that freedom of the ankle. I don't know. Guard myself with a mud guard from rocks flying in and twisting my ankle, or have the mobility of moving my foot all over. It's a tough, tough, tough choice. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about the shoes, the video, this and that. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.